let's continue about troubleshooting pick tube the other problem one another pro what one other problem is leakage the nurse will call you saying hey there is materials leaking from around pick tube and this could be anything from the stomach like gastric secretions that you feed itself and she will ask you of course for an advice of course if you have an access to the person who placed it you can get their advice but in general you need to ask ourselves the same question how old this pig is for the same reason is it more for weeks or less than four weeks because it matters if the tract mature or tract immature so simply here let's start here if the tract mature the easiest way to fix it of course do not replace it do not pull this and immediately put a new one that's not gonna fix the problem but what we do but again I advise you to call the person who put it in and discuss the case with them and go with their recommendations but the, the best way is to pull the old catheter right and then leave the tract to close now there's two kind of type of thoughts some say partially and then you can place a new one replace it with a new tube or some say completely and then you put a new one at a different site it's because the idea when you let it close partially that will prevent the leak and when you close completely of course there will be no more leak so that's if it's the tract is mature now if the tract is immature and that's where we see mostly the leaks happens early in the first few weeks that means the tissue not healing well and we need to look into that are they malnourished and if they are we need to give them support them with good nutrition and most of these people are cachectic you just need to build their muscle mass are they poorly controlled diabetic you need to control it and the third thing is is the external bolster are too tight into the abdominal wall hindering the tissue healing you need to loosen that and allow it to heal now in at any case we're not supposed to replace the tube here in this case and replacing the tube with a larger size tube also does not work so please do not advise for that in both cases we need to do a good wound care so to protect the skin from maceration and uh, inflammation and as i said if these measures doesn't work here um, then uh, with all of these um, then we absolutely need to get the advice from the person who plays it because we may need to remove it allow it to heal completely but the best thing is to leave the tube in and do these things support their nutrition control their diabetes losing the external bolster if needed anything that will hinder wound healing we need to take care of that so this is leakage from around pig tube to the outside now the leakage itself can be inside into the peritoneal cavity causing peritonitis and I've seen this a few times where here we need to call general surgery they need to go there and I've seen where cases where there was plenty of 
two feet inside the peritoneal cavity there is chemical and and bacterial peritonitis so of course stop two feeds immediately if you suspect it start empiric antibiotic and call surgery immediately as this patient likely will be toxic and sick and need to be taken to the OR for that reason this is regard regarding if there is leakage remember replacing the tube with a bigger size of tube does not work please do not advise for that and just follow these advices and remember if you don't know please call the person who place it and just get their advice